Call to order. This is the sixth regular meeting of the 2009-2010 Common Council. As is customary, our city clerk will read the quote, the anonymous quote of the day. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor. Appreciate everything the workforce does for the city. Nothing else can quite substitute for a few well-chosen, well-timed, sincere words of praise. They're absolutely free and worth a fortune. Thank you, Sue. Roll call, please. Born. Here. Bauk. Here. Bowers. Here. Decker. Here. Gisha. Here. Hannah. Excused. Heidemann. Here. Kath. Here. Kittleson. Here. Kleinus. Here. Montemayor. Excused. Rinfleisch. Excused. Surik. Here. Vanderweel. Here. Vu. Here. And Wangaman. Excused. Twelve present. Twelve present. We have a quorum. Vice President Gisha, will you please lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Jim. We have uh, approval of the minutes of the last Common Council meeting. President Boren. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I move to approve the minutes from the last meeting. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Resignations, Attorney McLean. Thank you, Your Honor. There's an uh, email from Mary Jane Norris advising that effective immediately she's resigning from the International Committee. I get it from Steve. Yeah. I need to accept and file. Need a motion to accept and file? Thank you, Mayor Ryan. A motion to accept and file the resignation. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Mayor's appointments. I hereby submit the following appointments for your consideration to the Sustainable Sheboygan Task Force, Aaron Brault, to replace Jim Halbert. Representative from Sheboygan County Government, whose term expires on 4-26-2010. Amy Peterson to replace Aaron Brault, the private individual city resident, whose term expires on 4-26-2010. And Thomas Holton to replace Thomas Henning, large business owner, whose term expires on 4-26-2010. Signed by the mayor. Thank you, Steve. That uh, lies over. Mayor Ryan. President Bourne. Thank you. Uh, Mayor Ryan, could we get a short bio on, on these individuals before the next meeting? Yes, we can. Thank you very much. Thank you. Public forum. Nobody. We have no public forum this evening. Nope. So we will move right on to the mayor's comments and announcements. I just have a, uh, a few announcements this week. Some events coming up in the city that I hope uh, people would support. The first one, nobody has to support. I just want everybody to be aware in the general public that uh, on the 17th, which is this Wednesday, we will have uh, up to 200 military personnel coming to town for a uh, bioterrorism uh, preparedness exercise. So we're not being invaded, and uh, we're, there's actually uh, nothing major going on. It is an exercise. So when you see military trucks and personnel running around town, you know what it's all about. On Sunday, June 28th, the fourth annual Tricia Bergman uh, benefit will be held from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. on the uh, Immaculate Conception Parish grounds. Uh, Tricia, if all of you recall, was uh, uh, shot and killed by her boyfriend. 100% uh, of the benefits that are raised at this fundraiser uh, go to uh, local charities that help women in need. So it's a good cause, and I hope everybody could support it. Again, that's on June 28th from 11 to 6 at uh, IC on the south side of town. And then we have the 4th of July coming up, which is one of my favorite events. Uh, parade starts at 9 a.m. I hope all uh, aldermen and uh, city officials that may want to participate are there. Uh, followed by the uh, cardboard boat regatta. Uh, 
And then, of course, after that, we do have the uh, South Pier festivities and the fireworks. Uh, South Pier this year has music starting at uh, 2 p.m. The band's from 2 p.m. all the way up until uh, the headline event is in the evening, which is the uh, Ultimate Rock Dynasty, featuring Dynasty, which is a uh, Wisconsin's hottest Kiss tribute band, and the Ultimate Ozzy. That's the number one Ozzy Osbourne tribute in the country. And uh, yours truly, <laughs> I, get to, I get to announce the bands uh, myself and uh, probably drag uh, Alderman Vice President Gisha up there with me for the fun. So he can do this. Yeah. And he can do that. That'll be his big move. Uh, and that's going to be followed by the uh, fireworks, of course, sponsored by Johnsonville. Uh, myself, I am volunteering my time down there to help out with the festivities on South Pier. If anybody else would like to help, contact me or anybody in the city. We're looking for some people to help out bartending, etc. That's one of my favorite activities. Uh, Darren Bricko can be reached. He's running the uh, South Pier Festival. His number is 453-4000. I'm looking to get some people from the city and those who just want to have some fun down there to, to help out with the cause. It's a good cause and it's, uh, it's great for our city. Uh, that's all I have. Um, now with uh, Jean Kittleson, Alder, Alder Person Kittleson. Thank you, Mayor. I guess I'd like to ask Aaron Brault to come on up and he's going to speak a little bit to us about uh, uh, the non-motorized transportation uh, uh, issue that has been, he's making a presentation, I believe, tomorrow evening to the county, and so this is perfect timing. And then he's also got another uh, presentation to make to the city, so we'll let Aaron begin. Thank you, Jean. I guess I don't have a, a presentation, but just a few words to say, so thanks for giving me time, and uh, thank you all for your support over the last uh, few years. Um, I handed out some handouts before the, uh, the meeting started. What you see there, uh, as Jean mentioned, we have, uh, once a year, we give a presentation to our county board. Um, so I printed out you guys a copy. Um, sort of gives you a rundown of where we've allocated all of our funds, um, where things are at as far as timeline, that kind of thing. And there's a few examples um, from around the county, not only Sheboygan, of certain projects that we're working on. Um, the other one, the orange one, uh, there have been six projects that have been completed. That just gives a brief overview of those projects. Uh, most of them I'd consider um, soft projects that are not really infrastructure projects. Uh, the main reason Gene asked me to come tonight was to talk about Bike and Walk to Work Week. Um, that was May 16th through May 22nd. Uh, we had uh, an employer challenge, a countywide employer challenge, where we had 20 employers throughout, over 20 employers throughout the county participate. Uh, Nemshoff had about 15% of their workforce participate. Um, Rockline won the overall uh, award for private employers. Uh, what we do is we take total mileage divided by a uh, number of employees and come up with a ratio, and whoever has the highest ratio wins. Um, they got a trophy that Sheboygan South, or no, Sheboygan North's uh, shop class made for them. And it'll be a traveling trophy that goes to the winning uh, business every year. So. And then we also, as last year, had a public employer challenge. Uh, last year, that was sort of our first shot at running something like this, where we have SASD, county, and city employees uh, basically do the same thing, total mileage divided by number of employees. And um, unfortunately, from uh, the county standpoint, the, the city won again. Um, so that's why I'm here. Um, just uh, briefly, um, so we have the whole challenge and then we also have individual awards. We have longest commute by a biker, longest commute by a walker, most mileage by a biker, most mileage by a walker. Um, SASD won all those awards. Uh, there was a gentleman, Brian Hendrickson, teaches at South, biked in 32 miles a couple times that week um, from west of Plymouth. The longest commute by a walker was 7.8 miles. Um, most mileage was 122.5. And then most mileage by a walker was 35 miles. Um, then looking at, I guess we also ran the same challenge for the, the, the private employers. Um, we had a fellow bike in from Two Rivers, um, works at Aurora. And then there was a fellow from Kohler who jogged from Hingham to Kohler Company a couple times that week. Um, and then the most mileage by a biker was Debbie Posowitz. She biked 150 miles throughout the week, and uh, she works at Orion. And then the most mileage by a walker was Mary Beth Herman, who logged 28 miles, and she works at Matthew Oncology. So, 
The city won with a ratio of 0.93, I believe. The city employees tracked 496 miles divided by roughly 560 employees. Um, so you had 0.93, SASD had 0.73, they came in a close second, and the county had 0.21, unfortunately. We, uh, we logged 600 less miles this year than we did last year. Last year we actually took second place, so I don't know what happened. Well, two of our ringers from last year didn't participate. They, they both logged over 120 miles last year. One was on vacation and the other one's excuse was he, his tires weren't pumped up. So. Poor excuses, if you but ask the, me. So the good news, Aaron, is the uh, the city one is what you're saying. The, the city one. Thank you. The city one. Just to reiterate. So here's the uh, the traveling trophy that Sheboygan South made last year for you. That's our traveling trophy. And um, I guess and the city's DPW department. We made, made a permanent one for us so that we can affix to the council wall. There you and go. We'll put it on there. And it's got 2009 City of Sheboygan, second year in a row. So, yep. So, congratulations to the city again, and thanks for participating. Oh, and I guess after reading through this, if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call or shoot me an email, and I'll be happy to provide that bio for the Sheboygan Sustainability Task Force. Thank you. Alderperson Clayunas. Thank you, Mayor. I just want to reassure everyone that the City of Manitowoc did not take up our challenge during that week. Uh, we challenged the City of Manitowoc to uh, the bike week the, to see if they could log more miles than we did, but they never took us up on it. So Mayor Ryan is off the hook. Uh, he was supposed to lead us into Manitowoc to pick up garbage if we lost. So. <laughs> yes. Yes, you were. He's still uh, learning how to read, so I think that's why they. <laughs> That's why they didn't accept the challenge, I think, so. Thank you, Jean. Okay. Thanks, Mayor. I guess just on behalf of, uh, of our wellness committee and all our city workers, I can't tell you how proud I am of all our city workers who participated in this bike and walk to work week. I, it was really, really great. I, uh, and, and next year we'll make it even bigger and better and uh, we'll go for three years in a row. So uh, thanks to all our city workers who participated. All right, thank you. Okay, consent agenda. 6-1 through 6-18. We have Vice President Gisha. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. If I could uh, ask that uh, 618 be pulled just for some additional explanation. Okay, 618 will be pulled for additional explanation and a separate vote. Do you want that? Please. And a separate vote. So we'll take 618 out, which will put us uh, 6 1 through 617. Alderman Bob. Hey, Mr. Mayor, and I was just wondering if uh, on 6 2, if I could just understand what the next steps are. Uh, perhaps you know that, or maybe Paulette does, what her recommendation, what to do next is. Thank you, sir. Okay, 6 2. It's the interchange. Oh, on the half interchange, would you like to speak on that, Paulette? Thank you, Mayor and Common Council. Um, you have the letter in front of you, and we submitted the resolution from Council along with a cover letter and what they'd like us to do is undertake a study. They've noted some, I guess, problem areas that, that they consider to be issues as we move through an analysis of reopening that interchange. So we're hoping to get some um, additional support from our legislators and then move forward with um, answering, I don't recall how many questions there are, but it'll take a little bit of time, but we'll move forward with it, um, staff, various staff in the department in the city. Alderman Buck. Thank you, Paul. So the, despite the, the, the way I kind of read the letter was the state was saying, give it up. That, that was just the way I read it. So you think we should pursue, uh, do the, the survey and do whatever it says we should do, commit those dollars uh, in order to get it? Yes. Okay. I, I think that it's worth a try. Okay. And many times, as you know, these um, types of issues can become, can be political. 
and so we're looking to garner political support and move forward. Okay, very good, thank you. Thank you, Alderman, Bauk. Alderman Bowers. I have one question, please. Uh, what's the time frame on this? Do you have any time frame? I don't know. I think there is a staff contact, and we wanted to get the letter into council, mm -hmm. and then we'll be contacting the staff and then finding out what the timeline is. It's probably a lot of it is on, um, you know, we would bear a lot of the work, so it would be dependent on when we could get the information back to them. And then they'll have to review it. Yeah, they'll review it and get back to us. And so yes. probably looking at a couple of years. Well, hopefully not. Hopefully but. not. Thank you. Thanks, Paulette. Uh, in, my, in my opinion, that whole Indiana, the, the, the interchange is vital to the, uh, the uh, entire revitalization of the Indiana Avenue quarter uh, and the South Pier itself. So I think it's important that uh, the council uh, and, the, and the public itself is uh, um, striving to, uh, to make this happen and uh, calling our legislators to uh, get their support on this. So we have uh, 6 1 through 6 17. President Boren. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I make a motion to accept and file all ROs and accept and adopt all RCs and pass all resolutions and ordinances. Second. Motion and a second. Uh, roll call, please. Boren? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Clyunis, Surik, Vanderweel, aye. and Vu. Aye. Twelve ayes. Motion carries. Uh, Six eighteen. Alderman Gishif. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I just had some questions. Um, this is raising of fees to people who have passed in Sheboygan, uh, and as these things come up, I think it's a good opportunity to review such fee structures. For those who are watching, this is a resolution to increase the, increase the cost of internment charges and increasing various fees on our cemeteries. So in a way, we're making it a little more expensive to die in Sheboygan as well as live. Um, so I'm looking for an explanation as to why we're raising these fees, where the revenue is going, where have we looked at other alternatives to if our problem is too many, much expense, this is a good opportunity to find out if we've looked at other alternatives to delivering that service as far as upkeep in these parks and so forth. So I'd like to know if there's been some sort of cost benefit analysis this, how much revenue, et cetera, et cetera. Alderperson Kittleson. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, could we ask uh, Paul Meyer to come up and maybe give us an explanation a little bit on this? If we may. Do we Paul need Meyer, to? I think we need a Do we, we need, need to make a motion? A need a motion to open the floor? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Mayor, member of the council. Um, I did a survey of area cemeteries uh, for their fee and cost structure, and uh, our last uh, increase was in 2005. So actually we were not competitive with uh, what the other cemeteries were charging. We were at the low end of the scale. And uh, what I had pro proposed to a public works committee was uh, approximately a 20% increase, 25%. And uh, this would put us in the middle of the pack of uh, other cemeteries and their internment fees, uh, lot sale prices, and so forth. Um, so this is, uh, you might call this a correction for uh, equipment cost, labor cost, fuel cost, um, we're not price gouging by any means. It's just um, to put us uh, in line with what the other uh, cemeteries are charging. And um, I uh, presented a spreadsheet to Public Works Committee showing where we fit in the uh, area cemetery structure and uh, how we would be commensurate with what they charge as well. And that was approved by the committee. As far as um, our costs are pretty much fixed, as far as uh, labor, um, according to union uh, contracts, and we use uh, seasonal help uh, whenever, uh, whenever we can to do uh, lawn mowing and so forth. 
but uh, we're kind of like the fire department. When somebody, when somebody dies, uh, we have to dig a grave. Uh, so uh, just like the fire department, when there's a fire, they have to put it out. So um, it's just, uh, again, what I would call it a correction, and we're uh, up to date now. And I, I'd imagine we'd be in maybe another five years until we look at our fee structure and uh, see what the other cemeteries are charging as well. If I may ask, Paul, uh, the, the fees, the, the cemeteries you compared it to, were those local cemeteries in the county? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Lutheran Cemetery, Calvary Cemetery, Green Lawn, um, Sunrise. Some of them were uh, public cemeteries, uh, like uh, Sheboygan Falls Kohler. Uh, others were private cemeteries, uh, like Green Lawn and Sunrise. So. Again, we were at the low end of the scale, and this puts us about in the middle, middle of the pack, if you will. Pre President Board? Uh, thank you, Mary. You asked the question I was All going right. to. Vice President Kisha? Thank you, Paul. Uh, he's not on. You, said, yeah, he's on. you said that uh, we weren't competitive, but in fact, if our prices were less than everybody else, doesn't that make us more competitive? Uh, we still have to provide the services and uh, from a competitive pricing because what, what you're doing here is pricing Yes, from a, from a pricing standpoint. We're actually more competitive at the current rate than raising the rate Yeah, but we're also looking at uh, revenue, you know is, is something that we're looking I think everybody's looking at you know revenue in these times and Here's a here's a situation where we can actually bring in some revenue. Can you tell me how much? I know 25, it 25% increase and that's, of our revenue. And what's our normal revenue on an annual basis? Uh, I, don't, I don't have those figures okay. with me. What happens to that money that we increase the revenue on? General fund and perpetual care fund. Okay. Our per perpetual care fund is upside down, right? We, well, we draw more out of it than it produces, is that right? Actually, uh, by, by law, we have to maintain a perpetual, fair, uh, perpetual care fund by state law and that uh, is invested by the finance department. Right, but it, it, it's short every year. It doesn't meet the needs of, on an annual basis, of the park, right? The city kicks in additional money for, for uh, wages and so forth out of the general fund. Is that accurate? Well, the, the wages and so forth are paid out of the general fund, yeah, in, the, reg in the regular city budget. But half of the, uh, half of the um, income, if you will, goes in the perpetual care fund, and uh, that's up to the finance department to determine how that's invested. Thank you. Any other questions of uh, Mr. Meyer? <coughs> okay, on uh, 618, all in favor? We have to take a roll. Uh, we have to take a roll. Take a roll? Mm -hmm. We'll do a roll call on it. Um, Bulk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? No. Heideman? No. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Clyunas? Aye. Sirk? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. And Vu? Aye. <coughs> Ann Boren? No. <laughs> kind of a moot point there, Jim. One, two, three, four. Nine eyes and three no's. Motion carries. Communications and petitions uh, to be referred 619 through 620. Report of officers two to be referred 621 through 630. Resolutions introduce three. Um, would you like to speak? No, thank you. We have uh, 631. Now as we move uh, 636 to the same issue, Mayor Ryan. Uh, you want a motion to pull forward uh, 636? That's correct, sir. Same thing. It's a report of committee. It's just a report of committee. So, so we can just pull that forward. Okay, we'll pull 636 forward. 
And I move to accept uh, and adapt the report of committee 636. Motion to accept and adopt uh, 636. You need a second. second. We have a second. Is that uh, roll call? We can do. Um, Report of committee. We can do an eyes. The, the actual document will need a roll call. If we can do eyes on that. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Now we go back to 631. 631 is, um, we'd like to move to suspend. Motion to suspend on 631. Do we have a, we have a second? Second. Under discussion? All in favor of suspension? Oh, roll call please on suspension. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Quayunis? Aye. Surik, aye. Vanderweel, aye. Vu, aye. Boren, aye. and Balk. Aye. Twelve ayes. Okay, we suspended 631 by Alderman Surik and Vu, authorizing Skipper Marine Development to enter into a lease for slip rental with the U.S. Coast Guard at the Harbor Center Marina. Alderman Surik. Thank you, Mayor. I move that the resolution be uh, put upon its passage. Second. Have a motion and a second. Under discussion? Roll call, please. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Clayunis? Aye. Surik? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Vu? Aye. Boren? Aye. Balk? Aye. And Bowers? Aye. 12 ayes. Motion carries. 632 and 633 to be referred. Um, Alderman Gisha would like to suspend this one. Thank Alderman you. Gisha. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I would, although um, Alderperson uh, Reinflesch isn't here, I'd be happy to give an explanation <laughs> uh, regarding a request to suspend six, uh, the rules on 632. We have a motion to suspend. Do we have a second? Second. Thank you. Uh, the, uh, the, the reason I'm asking for suspension is because, as this council uh, may recall, we put a deadline of funding in the budget of roughly July 1st for the uh, cleaning service as it's cr uh, cleaning crew at DPW, which is currently, we have the, the uh, finalized bids on the new cleaning service. This would allow for a couple of weeks to have a transition period. Uh, if we didn't, it would probably be disrupted. Hence the reason for the suspension. Do we need a roll call on the suspension? Do we have a motion in the second? Either do it by, by unanimous consent or ask if there's any objections to suspension. We can do just all eyes. So is there any objection to suspension? All in favor? Aye. 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 No. Aye. Right. Opposed? The motion carries on the suspension. Alderman Gisha. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I move that the uh, resolution be accepted and it, pardon me, the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Motion and a second. Under discussion? Alderman Bob. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd just like to congratulate uh, the Finance Committee. I was, this goes way back to when I, uh, my, the previous council was populating the Finance Committee, and this is something they've been working on for a long time. <coughs> and I believe Chairman Gisha has some figures that will really, uh, uh, really demonstrate that we're being good stewards of our taxpayers' money by privatizing this particular service. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Alderman Bob. Alderman Gisha. Vice President Gisha. Thank you. And frankly, I'd like to thank our purchasing department who did a really good job of putting these numbers together. This does go back some time. If the uh, public recalls uh, and this council recalls, uh, we had a budget of $130,000 for two cleaning people to clean the new police station. Uh, there was a feeling that was excessive. Uh, and uh, what we have in front of us is a three-year total for three years of cleaning with expanded hours with them supplying even the raw materials, the cleaning supplies and everything. Remember the police department is a seven day a week operation. We're, we've addressed that. It doesn't end at 3.30 when employees punch out. We've addressed that and the three year total, three year total is $149,694. That's opposed to the three year total of 390,000. That was assuming no increases in expenses such as insurance or wages. 
So that's a savings to the taxpayer thanks to this council and the previous council and allowing us to take a look at this, which I for one am very grateful for the opportunity to take a look at it, of over $250,000 over those three years. That's substantial money. And uh, we, were, we were fortunate as well through the great work of our joint purchasing department with the county to get a three-year contract. First two years at the same amount of money. The next year looks to me to be about a two or three percent increase. So um, I think everybody pulled together and created a good product for the taxpayer. Very good. Any further discussion? Alderperson Kittleson. Thank you, Mayor. I, this is document 632 that we are looking at, correct? Yes. yes. That is not being referred back to the Finance Committee. That is, we are voting on that this evening, that even is, though our uh, agenda uh, says that we are to refer that to finance, correct? Am I? Well, it was originally to be referred back to finance. Uh, the uh, president of finance has, uh, the has uh, chairman of finance has uh, asked it to suspend the rules and pass it okay. this evening. Okay, thank you, thank you. Any further discussion? Roll call. Gisha? Aye. Heideman? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? No. Kleunis? Aye. Surik? Aye. Vanderweel? Vu? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. And Decker? Aye. 11 ayes, 1 no. Motion carries. 633 is referred. Uh, report of Committee 5, 6 34 by salaries and grievances, <laughs> recommending filing document. <coughs> Submitting a communication being an adopted resolution from Sheboygan County regarding supporting the concept of combined dispatch and entering negotiations with the city for communications center dispatch manager and giving a favorable report to the common council. Alderman Baum. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd move the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. We have a motion and a second under discussion. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I just uh, cover this real quickly. This has to do with a, uh, a, a recommendation, adopted resolution from the county that was brought to salary and grievance that would uh, recommend or look in, recommend further exploration of the creating of a joint county employee that would serve as the supervisor for both the county's um, uh, the county's combined dispatch, or not combined dispatch, uh, and the city's dispatch. It'd be one supervisor, much like where our purchasing agent is, is combined. Um, and so what this would empower, an approval of this tonight, would empower uh, Director Payne and Interim Chief Eirick to work with the county sheriff and with Adam Payne uh, to explore a job description and salary and benefits for this person. Uh, that, that recommendation would come back to us and go back to the county uh, for a, a later vote. This person is envisioned to be hired in July of 2010, so, and we would pay 50% and the county would pay 50%. This person would be a county employee, uh, and uh, so it would come, it would cost about $25,000 in 2010 if we moved to move toward that. So, in short, um, this would be one supervisor who would manage county's dispatch and city's dispatch, moving us toward the combined dispatch years down the road. And this is this what we have here is uh, the the authorization to explore that. To explore, yes, sir. Very good. President Bourne. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. <clears throat> Just to add what Alderman Balk said, this is probably the you might say a baby step to combining our dispatches in in three to five years. Uh, because of the financial situation with the city and the county, we couldn't move ahead with it any, uh, well, we chose not to move ahead with it any sooner than that, but this is the first step. And besides the supervisory component of this, of the, of the county dispatch and the uh, police department dispatch, this uh, supervisor or manager will be working on the protocols necessary to make a smooth transition when we indeed go to combined dispatch. One of the main problems that other counties have had in combining their dispatches have been uh, smooth transitions and a lot, of, uh, a lot of dispatchers deciding to move on. And that's, I think, one of the biggest components of this is to have this person work on the protocols to make this a smooth transition. Thank you, President Boren. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Heideman? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Kleunis? Aye. Surik? Aye. Vanderweel. Aye. Vu? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Aye. And Gesha? Aye. 
12 ayes. Motion carries. Report of Committee 6, 6-35, by Law and Licensing, recommending withdrawing beverage operator's license number 8224 per the applicant's request. President Boren. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I move that the report of committee be accepted and adopted. Second. Motion in a second. Under discussion? Under discussion, uh, the individual uh, here was uh, Ms. Amanda Salazar. Is Ms. Salazar here tonight by any chance? Uh, Ms. Salazar had a past history of law violations related to the license activity. <clears throat> and uh, after appearing before our committee one time, uh, she decided uh, to withdraw her application and not go through the process any further. Very so it, it was a unanimous vote uh, by the committee to accept her withdrawal of the application. Thank you, President Porin. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Report of Committee 7. Oh, this is already done, 6-36. Ordinances introduced 10 to be referred 6-37, matters laid over 11, 5-71, RO number 47-09-10 by the city clerk submitting a communication as a matter of record from Mitzi Schleuder of the Sheboygan Park Project informing the council that they will be holding their first annual walk and roll event on Sunday, June 14th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. having a brat fry at Ebenezer UCC. Family activities, a one mile walk or roll and a 5K walk or roll. How do you roll five kilometers? In a wheelchair. In a, oh, very good, thank you very much. Um, need a motion to accept in? File. File? Yep. So Second. Second. We have a motion to accept and file in a second. Under discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. 5-61, resolution number 20-09-10 by Alderpersons Gisha, Boren, Montemayor, and Heidemann authorizing appropriate officials to execute a contract to continue the Virgin Health Miles program for the 2009-2010 program year. Alderman Gisha. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I think I may have an amendment, but I move that the uh, resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Uh, Mayor Ryan, I'd like, it, it's just a bit unclear in the language. The, um, the Finance Committee actually approved where it says under whereas the anticipated cost of the program for upcoming 2009 program year is $12,750. Oh, pardon me. I do see it now in the bottom. Uh, $6,600. I withdraw the point on the motion. Thank you. We have a motion in a second. Further discussion? Alderperson Kittleson? Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Mayor. I guess uh, under the be it further resolved, I would like to make, make an amendment if we need that the program will include rather than a $20 annual participation fee that we make that $25. Second. Okay, and that is on... Um, so we want to amend, be it further resolved, that the program will include a $25 annual participation fee for all participants. Correct, correct, okay. We have a motion and a second. Sure. Uh, discussion on the amendment, Vice President Gisha. Yeah, just a question, is that $25 on the employee side or on the city side or both? At, on the employee okay, side. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. On the amendment, any further discussion? All in favor of the amendment? Say aye. Aye. Opposed? Nay. Who said nay? One opposed. Alderperson Kath. Any further discussion? We need a put forward as amended. Yes. Vice President Kisha. Uh, thank you, Mayor Wright. I, I move that the resolution as amended be put upon its passage. A motion and a second to put the resolution upon its passage as amended. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Kath? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Clayunis? Aye. Surik? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Vu? Aye. 
Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Heidemann? No. Ten eyes, two noes. Motion carries. 5-62, resolution number 21-09-10 by Alderpersons Gisha, Clayunas, Boren, Montemayor, and Heidemann, authorizing a transfer of appropriations in the 2009 budget, establish revenue and appropriation for resurfacing aid from the state of Wisconsin. Vice President. I was, I was trying to poke Jim. Vice President <laughs> Gisha. I, uh, I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Motion in a second. Under discussion? No discussion. May we have a roll call, please? Clayunas? Aye. Surik? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Vu? Aye. I'm sorry. Thank you. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. And Kittleson? Aye. 12 ayes. Motion carries. 5-63, resolution number 22-09-10 by Alderpersons Gisha, Clayunas, Boren, Montemayor, and Heidemann, authorizing borrowing from the trust funds of the state of Wisconsin the sum of $800,000 for the purpose of financing storm sewer water improvements and for no other purposes. Vice President Gisha. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Have a motion and a second. Under discussion. Alderman Vu. Thank you. <clears throat> I have two questions. Um, which parts of the city that really need the storm water improvement? And second, is the trust funds office constantly available for long the next year or two? Or is it available only in a limited time offer? Um, because this involves in a section of the income tax, uh, property tax increase, so that's why I asked this kind of questions. Right. So. Uh, I, I, I may explain one part of it, that $800,000 is for the project that is already underway on uh, the, the fifth in New York project. Um, this is normally money that we would bond for. However, on uh, such a small sum, we didn't have to bond for it at the beginning of the year, so we borrowed it out of the state trust fund uh, at a very low interest rate. Maybe uh, Vice President Gisha uh, can, can expound upon that a bit more. Um, maybe. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Yes, you're, uh, you are correct. Uh, normally, this would be something that we would bond for, but this is not a good time to go to the bond market. Unemployment high, you end up getting nicked in your bond rating with deficits and things like that. And so the decision was made via this paper to go to the state employee trust. And I believe actually the interest paid to this goes to libraries uh, across the state of Wisconsin. So um, the, the, the rate is probably slightly higher than a bond rate, but we don't get nicked on a, on a downgrade on a bonding and perhaps Terry Hansen. Uh, Finance Director Hansen, if I'm inaccurate or he needs to expound, he could address that. Yeah, and if this was already a, a project we had um, contracted for uh, before the the uh, uh, financial picture of the city loomed its or, or uh, reared its ugly head, and so this is uh, one project that we were obligated to do, and this was the most logical way to go about it. Alderperson Clayunas. I also think it's part of our obligation at matching other funds that are coming in from, I think, other projects. Isn't this, uh, isn't there other funds coming in for the stormwater too, or is this, it's all ours? I thought maybe the state had something to do with this one too. No? Okay. Sorry. He had Never a second mind. question. <laughs> he had a second question. Um, what was your second question, Alderman Vu? Did we answer your question? Can you, can you uh, put your mic on, put your please? Mic on. My second question is that, is this trust fund of Wisconsin available in the next year or two, or is it available in a limited time offer? Vice President Gisha? No, I've got the microphone problem. Um, it, this has been available for years. It's kind of one of Wisconsin's best kept secrets. A lot of rural communities have dipped into this trust fund for money, while the rest of us 
incorporated communities have gone to the bond market. But as the bond market's kind of squeezed up, uh, a lot more communities are going to these trust fund dollars. I think last year they paid out about $15 million, I think, across the state in various funds. It's a, it's a program that has been around forever and likely will be along forever, but it is a limited amount. Theoretically, if all the communities requests are granted and a lot more people use it, it could dwindle that. It's a revolving fund, but uh, it's been around for a lot of years. So fingers crossed that it's there in the future. Okay. Thank you, Alderman Boo and Gisha. Alderman Bowers. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, can you uh, tell us, is there any maximum amount we can uh, borrow from this, or is there a limitation? So in s I think we'll get uh, Finance Director Terry Hansen up here to uh, give us a true expert opinion on this. <laughs> now you're talking. He doesn't know. <laughs> and typically, your best route is the bond market, unless there are certain circumstances that, that arise, and we're in those certain circumstances. This is a small issuance. Going out for a bond at this amount, you have certain um, underwriting costs that you have to pay for. And the larger the issue, the smaller percentage those underwriting costs are, so that's better. And then also smaller issues, when you go out on bond market, usually have a higher interest rate than if you have a large bond issue. So this, uh, this case in point is very good to utilize these funds. However, majority of the time when we're looking at our normal process, going out for a bond is a better route to do that. But at this time, in this small amount, this is the best route. Thank you. Okay, any further discussion? Roll call, please. Surik? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Vu? No. Thorne? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Kleunis? Aye. 11 ayes, 1 no. Motion carries. 5-68 general ordinance number, 4-09-10 by Alderpersons Hannah, Rindfleisch, Bowers, Surik, and Wangaman. Repealing and recreating subsection 6 of section 50-182 of the Sheboygan Municipal Code so as to add and amend regulations related to bond fires. Alderman Surik. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I move that the uh, general ordinance be uh, put upon its passage. We have a motion and a second under discussion. Alderman Bulk, Alderman Surik. So I just mentioned, maybe Jay, uh, Chief Lasuski would like to address the issue if there are any questions. Chief? Thank you, Mayor, and R Mayor Ryan and members of council. Um, this is really a very minor change to the ordinance. Um, there's basically two um, items that are changed in there. One is the distance um, is changed for recreational bonfires from 20 feet to 10 feet. The reasoning behind that is, uh, for one, we don't have issues with fire control problems as long as all the other provisions of the ordinance are followed. And the second is there's a disconnect between the cooking ordinance and the recreational bonfire sections of the ordinance. And we always had this issue, are people using this fire for cooking or recreation? And we had a hard time enforcing it. So there'll be consistency between the two by having that 10 foot limitation uh, as opposed to 10 foot for one item and 20 foot for the other. And then the other change to the ordinance is um, adding a provision uh, G that just addresses the pre-manufactured fire pits that you're seeing a lot more of um, that look like wood burner kind of things that aren't exactly uh, a fire pit and aren't exactly a a fryer for cooking, or the in-between. It just talks about manufacturer spec specifications and and uh, following those. So those are the two changes, otherwise the, the ordinance is the same as it's always been. Thank you, Chief. Any further questions? Thanks, Chief. Roll call, please. Vanderweel? Aye. Vu? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Heidemann, Aye. Koth, Aye. Kittleson, Kleunis, and Surik. Aye. 12 ayes. 
Motion carries. Other ma matters authorized by law. 6-38, an RO by the city clerk granting various license applications. President Boren. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I move that the uh, report of officer be accepted and placed on file. We have a motion and a second under discussion. No discussion. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. 6-39 will be referred to Public Works. 6-40, an RC by Public Protection and Safety recommended filing document submitting a communication from Quality State Oil Company Incorporated requesting that a single pole sign be removed so as to make their driveway e access easier and safer and to approve all signs in that area and to eliminate the one hour parking on Geely Avenue and to direct that the appropriate documents be drafted. Do we have a motion? We have a motion to approve second. and a second. second. Any discussion? All in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. And that was a motion to accept and adopt. Okay, 6-41, an RC by Public Protection and Safety recommended filing document submitting the Fire Chief's Report of Departmental Activity for the period commencing June 1, 2008 and ending December, 3, December 31, 2008. Looking for a motion to accept and adopt. A motion and a second. Under discussion? All in favor? Say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Other matter 6-42, an RC by Public Protection and Safety recommending filing documents submitting communications from the wharf requesting permission to use the parking lot between the wharf and the Duke of Devon for three summer events and to include approval for alcohol provided that, that the appropriate permits are obtained. For a motion to accept and adopt? Second. And a second. Under discussion? All in favor? Aye. Oh, I'm sorry, we need a roll call on that. That is an RC. Roll call. Oh, okay. Actually, you really don't. We don't? Mm -mm. How about the next one? We want to roll on that? Um, we can just do an all on this. <laughs> okay. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. <laughs> 6-43, an RC by Public Protection and Safety recommended filing documents submitting a communication from Jason Pop and Ryan Mester, Messner requesting permission to hold Sheboygan County Rocks Childhood Cancer on August 22nd at Dillon Park to benefit St. Jude Children's Research Hospital and approving, approving an eligible applicant to apply for a special B picnic license. Motion to accept and adopt? Second. And a second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. 6-44, a resolution by Alderman Hanna authorizing the mayor to enter into an ATV, that's all-terrain vehicle, rental agreement for one day, July 4th, 2009, for use by the police department in patrolling the city's Lake Michigan beachfront and for general law enforcement duties. President Boren. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, in Alderman Hanna's absence, I'll make a motion to put the resolution upon its passage. Sorry. Yeah, we have a motion and a second under discussion. If I may uh, make it clear, this is a uh, the rental agreement for these are uh, these are private ATVs owned by the individual members of the police department, and the city is going to pay them a whole five dollars a day for use of their ATVs. <laughs> Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Vu. Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Kleunis? Aye. Surik? Aye. And Vanderweel? Aye. 12 ayes. Motion carries. 6-45 uh, is referred to finance. Other matters? Attorney McLean? Forty-five. Are we going to be able to get that acted on before next time? Pardon me. 
Yeah. This is bidding. for next year. That's yeah, that's not, next year. So we, yeah, it's we not got this, this year. year's done. <laughs> okay. Okay. Me too. We're planning next year early because uh, the 4th is a big holiday. All right. <laughs> 646 is a communication from Aaron Brault, Program Specialist for the Non-Motorized Transportation Pilot Program, along with the results from the Bike and Walk to Work Week, Countywide Public Employer Mileage Challenge, and the Sheboygan County's Let's Get Physical 2009 National Employee Health Fitness Day results. That lies over. 647 is an RO by the city clerk submitting a communication from Darren Bricko regarding financial assistance to Pure Music 209 or 2009 held on July 4th on the South Pier. It's referred to finance. 648 is a communication from interim chief of police Tim Eyrick along with a new proposed table of organization for the police department along with a letter of endorsement of this plan from the membership of the Sheboygan Professional Police Association. Salary and grievances. 649 is a communication from Jolene Hendricksy, Special Events and Hospitality Coordinator for the John Michael Kohler Arts Center, making various requests from the city to hold their annual Art Armada on July 4th. That is referred to Public Protection and Safety and Public Works. 650 is an RO by the city clerk submitting communication from the state of Wisconsin Department of Correction to file an appeal to the sex offender residency restrictions on behalf of state inmate Tommy Brown in order for him to be placed at a transitional living placement. Referred to public protection and safety. 651 is a communication from Brent Frederick requesting an encroachment for his property for the purpose of building and maintaining a retaining wall. Uh, that is referred to city planning. 652 is an ordinance granting Brent Frederick, Frederick his successors and assigns privilege encroaching upon described portions of North 6th Street located at 2324 North 6th in the city for the purpose of constructing and maintaining a retaining wall. That is referred to city planning. 653 is an RO by the city clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30, 2011 and June 30, 2010. That is referred to law and licensing. 654 is a communication from Rachel Newton, general manager at Blue Harbor Resort, requesting volleyball nets and other fun outdoor activity equipment be installed for the beach south of Blue Harbor Resort and is willing to donate $500 towards the purchase of any equipment. That is referred to Public Works. Uh, if I may speak for just a moment, before we adjourn, um, earlier there was a, an event that came up, the. Uh, the, the walk and roll, 5K walk and roll, and I asked the city clerk, how do you roll five kilometers? Um, it was a, uh, a, a remark. I didn't realize it was also a wheelchair event, so I apologize <laughs> if I uh, offended anybody with my uh, uh, perceived uh, uh, insincerity there. So it just didn't click in my head, the walk and roll event, so I just <laughs> want to let everybody know that. We have a motion to adjourn. We are adjourned. Thank you.